Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the 18th Word 2007 tutorial and today's topic is going to be working with forms in Word and I'm going to show you how to make a Word fillable form. So what I've done here is I've just created a basic table um, for an outline here and you, you do not need to use a table, it's completely optional but I just made it for the demonstration here. So what I've done here is again put name, address, city, um, and other pertinent information. Let's just assume this is like a basic, I don't know, a, a sports um, sign-up form. So in order to create a form here that people can fill in their information and, and fill it in in the area that you want them to fill it in, is what you do is you go under the developer tab. And I'm going to work with the um, what's called the legacy tool set which works very well but you can experiment with these other ones too but I'm going to go ahead and make this form with the legacy tool set one quick note I wanted to share with you is if you do not have the developer tab on your on your um, ribbon here or on your menu go to the office button up here click it go to word options and then check this box here under popular show developer tab in the ribbon and it will show up for you okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to insert a spot for text and that's that A, B field right here. I'll click that and I'm going to do this for most of these here. Address, city, go down to state, and now birth date, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and put a slash there then I'm going to go ahead and add another one and I'll do a slash then I'll add another one okay skill level what I'm going to do here is create check boxes and in the check boxes I'm going to go ahead and put in um, let's say um, let me insert a check box here and that's this box right here and I'm going to go ahead and put in skill levels beginner space in then I'm at another checkbox and I'm going to do intermediate and I'm going to do another checkbox and I'll do advanced right, then down here on volunteer I want an option I want them to either type yes or no so I'm going to go ahead and do a drop down form field. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so now what we want to do is go in and make these fields be of specific sizes and format. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, right click on the first one here and I'm going to choose properties and then I'm going to go to length and I'm going to limit it to, let's give them, and we'll give them 25 characters for a name. And then under text format, if I want to, I can do first capital, so it automatically capitalizes their um, their names. Okay, so I'm going to do that and say OK. Address, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make that, let's make that 25 also. And I'm just going to leave the default, uh, you know, let them freeform, fill in the text. Same thing here with the properties. I'm going to make this one 25. Right now we get down to state or city. I'm going to make this. I don't know. We'll make it. Uh, let's make it 20. Then we get down to state. We want this only to be two fields. So I'm going to go ahead and make that two. And then in the text format, I'm going to say uppercase. Okay. And then I'm going to say OK. And now here birth date we want a two character month we want a two character day and a four character year alright and then over here for the check boxes can right click those and you can choose a default value we're going to leave it as not checked as a default and then we're going to say checkbox size auto and we can leave it there 
and so that should be the default settings for those and then now for volunteer if we want them to make some options here we're going to go into properties and we're going to add drop down items so we're going to say yes we're going to type it in the drop down item hit add no hit that and then also then let's make a little a little choose option here just so they see that and then what I'm going to do when I move this up so I'm going to highlight it and move it up like that and now if I say OK now you see that's the default in there so now what I do is I save this I save this document I go to under developer I go to protect document and now I go to editing restrictions and I check that and I say filling in forms and now I start enforcing that and I can type a password to um, lock it down if I want to. I'm not in this case, but you, you would in your in your example if you're actually uh, emailing this to people or putting it on a site for them to download. Say OK. I'm going to close that out. Now if I go to fill it in, let me do test user. Uh, let me do 123 Main Street. notice what happened there I made that um, all uppercase and I typed it in lowercase and, and as I moved on to the next field it uh, changed it to uppercase same thing here I did that on the on the name I had the uppercase first letter of that chosen and it changed the T to uppercase T birth date let's just say 01 uh, 01 oh. And then you can check the box for intermediate and then you go down here and now you've got a pull down when you click on that and you can say yes volunteer. Okay, that's what I want to share with you today. Uh, thanks for joining. Hopefully this helps and please subscribe. Take care.